Zabrücken Airport, flight XQ126 from Antalya is on final approach. It is a normal flight, but something is different. Hello, I'm the tower controller in charge and have been doing this job for seven years. As tower controller, I'm responsible for takeoffs and landings. Recently, a camera system has been assisting me. It provides a 360 degree view of the airport. Moving objects are labeled on my monitors, primarily approaching aircraft, but also flocks of birds or vehicles on the apron. I can freely select which section of the image I want to focus on. I have panoramic cameras, cameras covering the apron and pan-tilt zoom cameras. Those have an automatic tracking function which can track aircraft independently. This means I can concentrate on my duties, I can easily zoom in on details. The system is weather independent. If conditions are bad or at night, I can switch from color to infrared. What is different is that I'm not sitting in the tower at Saarbrücken Airport, but hundreds of kilometers away in Leipzig. Here, DFS, the German Air Navigation Service Provider, has set up its new remote tower control center. Why? Because such remote centers offer a more intelligent and economic way of controlling air traffic. It is perfectly normal for controllers not to have visual line of sight to the aircraft they control. Air traffic has always been monitored in control centers from a distant location. The time has now come for the next step, where takeoffs and landings are also controlled from a distance, especially for small airports with low traffic volumes. Because low levels of traffic mean downtime for controllers. Remote tower control offers the ideal solution. Camera systems are installed at numerous airports and the tower controllers brought together at one location. This allows DFS to deploy its controllers more efficiently. The system also makes air traffic safer when visibility is poor. Up until recently, only very small airports could be monitored. Our system is different. It can be used at larger airports with more traffic and we, the controllers, were directly involved in its development. The remote tower system is going operational at Saarbrücken Airport. The airports of Erfurt and Dresden will follow over the next few years. The goal is to control more and more airports remotely, as safe as always, as modern as never before. <laughs>